sweet or spoiled. Now, sweet will determine whether or not during my pregnancy things are really cool and it's really sweet, like baby products or some cool utensils that you use in the kitchen, or I'll give it a spoiled review where I pretty much think they're pregnant haters. We'll just call it what it is. But to begin our review day, I'm gonna start off telling you guys that we're hanging out in the baby's room. That's right, check out the crib. I put some shelves in the closet. Things are still not really up to par yet. Um, probably after the baby shower, it'll get fuller around here. One app I'm really into right now is the Baby Center app. It's free. You get to type in when you're due, and day by day it's telling you what is going on inside your body. It's awesome and crazy at the same time. And I found this funny little top 10 what you miss most during pregnancy. And let's just tell you guys, the first one says a normal sense of smell. This is totally correct. My smell is way strong. I'll sit um, anywhere and pretty much can just smell people's food at another table. I was at a movie theater the other day and I swear it was full of old people, like a retirement home. It smelled disgusting. Um, wine, like if my friends are drinking wine, I can smell the wine from across the room. It's really crazy. So that is a sweet. Uh, booze! Yeah, I'm not a drinker in the least, but I've been craving margaritas like they're secret to life. This person on Baby Center said that she's craving margaritas. I'm not really craving margaritas. Um, I'm not really craving any kind of alcoholic drink or um, or a drink, really. If anything, I'm craving sweets because I'm having a girl, and that's what they say you crave when you're having a girl. Um, one is off limits food, sushi. My boyfriend is going to bring me spicy tuna rolls from our favorite place while I'm in the hospital. Now, that is correct. I am craving some sushi, and you're not allowed to have it while you're pregnant. It contains a lot of mercury, and it's raw, so you technically could get sick from it, which you don't want to harm your baby. Um, let's see, missing peaceful sleep. I miss being able to sleep through the night without having to pee every few hours. Correct, I pee all the time. Uh, cute shoes, I had to wear flip flops to a friend's wedding about a week after giving birth and I was back in cute shoes again. This is spoiled. I definitely am wearing cute shoes every day. Don't let it stop you if you are a cute shoe lover. I mean, you don't have to wear flats. You don't have to look like you're a frumpy old pregnant person. Most of my clothes are still fitting me, or they're kind of baggier anyways, and you don't have to go buy maternity clothes. Um, feeling sexy. I miss my thong panties. I hate wearing granny panties. Dude, you don't have to wear granny panties. Like right now, you're still a human being. Uh, I feel sexy all the time. Actually, I feel a little bit sexier. Hmm. Feeling strong and independent. I miss being viewed as a powerful and independent woman. People won't let me do anything for myself. OMG, this is the time to just let men do what they're supposed to do, which is chivalry and opening doors for you. Just put all that to, uh, to the side that you're very independent, because you are independent, you're an independent person, and uh, it's okay to just let go and have people do things for you. I mean, this is what I am embracing so much about pregnancy, is that it's just like, so awesome, everybody loves you more, I feel sexier, it's like, just embrace it, forget about it. If, and people, I think, take you seriously too, it's like you're growing up, um, people are noticing you're bringing life into the world, you, you are like doing something way amazing. Um, here's a big one, Be being included. I miss going to parties on the weekends and hanging out with my friends. Um, why the bleep are you still not going out to parties and hanging out with your friends? Just because you're pregnant doesn't mean you have to sit on the couch all day and do nothing. Um, just You're just doing something different at a party now, like drinking water. <laughs> or just being responsible, adult, and taking care of your little baby growing inside of you. But you don't have to stop doing the things that make you happy. Uh, they also said they miss the emotional control. Technically, this one says, I miss being laid back and not so sensitive. I cry all the time in the smallest turn. The smallest things turn me into a witch. Okay, yes, everyone says that when you are pregnant, you get these crazy hormones, and for me, technically, for me, I haven't had any crazy hormones. In the beginning, it was like I was in so much happiness and love, like 
amazing emotions and I know this is different for everyone um, now in my almost six month I'm getting a little more testier mostly because I'm freaking hungry all the time and it's like don't have a conversation with me if I'm hungry I need to eat ASAP but um you know what just use the excuse I'm pregnant it's okay if your emotions are high or low and you need to cry go cry I mean I cried the other day when I saw my girlfriend Jessica uh, in Atlanta I missed her so much and I, you just gotta cry let it out I mean it's all good I miss having caffeinated sodas multiple times a day. Um, this was a total easy thing for me. I just took out coffee immediately. Sure, I had some headaches. Everyone says you're going to get some headaches. So gradually go off caffeine. And they say you can have about 8 ounces a day. Um, I just went cold turkey. Life just is better knowing that I was putting good things in my body. And I've been, now I don't even miss it. I just crave water. Um, and when I do have a soda, sure, it's like, oh, that tastes good, but I don't overdo it. So, in moderation. So these are some funny things that I saw on my pregnancy app that were cracking me up. It's called My Pregnancy, my, my pregnancy Baby Center. It's free. Whatever. Um, so let's do some reviews and giveaways for you guys. I've got some really cool spatulas. I've got a fun little small spatula from the ChefDepot.com. And a spoonula. I talk about having spoonulas all the time. This is my favorite utensil in the kitchen. Um, it's not like a spatula where it's off to one side. It, it it looks like a spoon, so it just it gets more of your like buttercream out of your bowl. Um, it's almost you know if you're doing rice or something, it's easier to pick things up. I don't know. It's my favorite tool, and I do love the spatula. Like if you're gonna frost a cake or whatever, but. This spoonula is sweet! <laughs> so I'm going to be giving you guys the spatula and maybe someone else this little guy. So we're going to do two giveaways. So leave me in the comments a funny story about when you guys were cooking in the kitchen. Something funny like I you normally drop powdered sugar on Sweeney's head or give me something funny and I want to seriously LMAO out loud when I'm reading these so one giveaway for this little guy and one little giveaway for this guy so yeah can't wait to read your comments thanks so much for tuning in to sweet or spoiled and next week I have another fun review for you guys so see you later Bye.